Hey, so I'm going to be sharing with you a few different um, postures, a few different variations to work on figure four to help with your flying crow and to also help with pigeon. So we're going to get ourselves started. Grab yourself some blocks. Hey, so for this practice, you're gonna need a couple of blocks and then a cushion or a bolster. We are gonna be working on figure four, which then helps us with a pigeon and also with postures like flying crow. So we're gonna get ourselves started. Just move away around from Bert. So just taking yourself long ways onto the mat, you're gonna take your legs out almost into Dandasana to begin with, bending in the right leg, drawing it in close towards you. From there, start to lift the right foot up off the floor, left hand onto the right foot. You're either gonna keep it here, you're gonna to start to bring the heel towards the left hip, or taking the foot that little bit further up so the heel's in line with the knee. You're either gonna stay here, or taking the foot into the elbow crease, Wherever you are, we're just going to rock here left to right. This is Rock the Baby. Like I said, we can be here as well. Just loosening off, adding on that movement. And then from there, just come into fine stillness, taking the, a bend in your left knee and placing the outer edge of the foot onto the left leg. Hands are grounding down onto the mat. Fingers can be out to the side back or fingers down, whatever feels comfortable for you. Squeezing the shoulders together, begin to inhale, lift up. Try and keep the right knee pushed out rather than letting it come up. Lowering back down. I'm gonna do two more of these. Inhale to lift, exhale to lower. Inhale to lift, exhale to lower. Last one, inhale to lift, exhale to lower, all the way down and then taking a hold of the leg. Left leg goes out, hinging from the hips and then just taking a forward fold. You might feel like the um, ankle is on some knots in the thigh. So an option here is to give yourself a little massage with the foot. And then from there, just rounding all the way up, taking your right hand onto the right foot and then just extending into your right leg. Releasing it all the way down. Left side now, bringing your left leg in towards the chest, sitting up nice and tall. Same thing again, right hand on left foot, lifting the heel towards the right hip, maybe starting to lift the foot up. Option as well, to then take the foot into the elbow crease. My left hip's not having any of it, so I'm just gonna stay here. And then rocking left to right. I'm just trying to keep the ankle active, just so it helps to keep stability into the knee. And then from there, come into fine stillness, bending in the right knee, foot goes onto the, um, onto the right thigh, hands come behind. Let's go again for those lift ups. So we lift up, squeezing your glutes, and then lowering back down. We go for three more of them. Inhale to lift, exhale to lower, inhale to lift, and then exhale to lower. Extend your right leg all the way out. I've got a dog toy there. <laughs> and then starting to then lean forward, hinging from the hips, relaxing all the way down and just trying to make sure that that knee is staying out. Option to give yourself a little massage on the right leg, if that feels okay. From here, just come into find stillness, lifting yourself back up, taking the legs, oh sorry, take a left hand onto the left foot, just extending your leg. And then releasing the leg all the way down, we're gonna bring ourselves into a tabletop. So rolling over into your tabletop position. From here, take your right leg all the way back, drawing the knee forward and then turn the foot so it just comes uh, above the knee. Left toes tuck under, press it back into a downward facing dog. Dropping the knee down. Two more of these, downward dog. Dropping it down. Downward facing dog. And then dropping it all the way down and taking the right leg back, left side. Left leg extends and then drawing that knee in, turning the foot into the center line just above that right knee. Back toes tuck under, press it back. Figure four down dog. And lower. Take it back. Lower. Last one. Taking it back and then lowering all the way down, and then taking that left knee all the way back. Pressing it back into downward facing dog, 
and then walking all the way up to come and join the hands at the top of the mat. Rounding all the way up through the spine, coming to bring yourself up to standing. Now this is when you're gonna grab a hold of your blocks, having them in front of you so they hit this and apart. Balancing on your right leg, active through the inner arch of your ankle, begin to lift the left knee up towards the sky. Turn the foot in, so creating this like pigeon shape with the leg, which is then also then your figure four, foot just above the knee. Okay, squeezing into your glutes, try and then open into the hip. Maintain this leg position. We're going to then hinge from the hip as if you're trying to sit down, but let the movement come from this hip hinge and avoid letting that knee come up. So you're working on your balance. This might be where you want to be. You're going to take your hands to your heart center or begin to take the hands down onto the block and then maybe wrapping that foot around the right arm. You're making yourself a little shelf with the arms and then maybe lowering your blocks down whoop, a little bit lower, maybe taking the hands all the way down and then you can start to play around with shifting that weight forward. Maybe you lift the foot up off the floor, coming to balance. And then let's bring ourselves all the way up, power up through the legs, all the way up, Whew. and then release. Let's go on the left side now. So using your blocks again, having them there for support, start to then lift that right leg up, active in your left leg, squeezing into your left glutes, turning the foot in, hinging from the hip, sinking down as if you're trying to sit on a chair. This might be enough for you here, or leaning forward, melt the chest down, finding your blocks. Begin to wrap the foot around. Maybe we take the hands that little bit further down. Starting to shift the weight forward, maybe coming onto the toes. Maybe lifting the foot up. <laughs> I find it a little bit harder on that side. And then begin to lift yourself all the way up, powering up. Woof. And then taking that right leg all the way down. Give the legs a little bit of a shake. And then we're going to come down onto our bottoms, grabbing onto your cushion or onto your block, onto your bolster. Okay. So you take it underneath, lowering down, lift the hips up, and then taking the bolster or your cushion underneath the hips. Start to lift the feet up towards the sky, bending your right knee, and then taking the foot just above the left knee into this figure four, wall to four pose. And you can stay here or start to let the left leg come in closer, but remember, try and keep that figure four shape with the right leg rather than bringing it in. Start to slow down the breathing. And then just slowly release. Let's go on to the other side. So right leg extends. Left leg, left foot comes onto the right knee. Hmm. You can always stay here longer. I invite you to if you have the time. Hey, Bert. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> and then start to release, lowering the feet all the way back down, finding the mat underneath. Squeezing the glutes to lift up the hips. You can just push your bolster down near the feet or move it out to the side. Getting lots of love from Bert today. And then lifting yourself all the way up. Heels in line with the center. Let's just finish off with some nice deep breaths. Eyes are closed. Take a full inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. And last one, inhale. And exhale. Bring your hands together at your heart center. Taking a moment to find gratitude for what your body's just done. Gratitude for showing up. And gratitude for all the yoga teachers that have come before to make this practice possible. And thank you so much for practicing with me.